Hello my beautiful ladies, welcome to another video. I'm so excited about today's topic because I can tell you that every single decision that I have made in my life, the best decisions have been when I have found God's will for my life. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to find that will from God for your life. So keep watching. I want to welcome every single one of the new ladies who are joining us on YouTube. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Diana Bryant and I'm a Christian life coach. And this channel will provide you all the tools and steps that you need to transform your life with God's word one day and one step at a time. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the strategies that will help you find God's will in your life. So the first strategy is to read the word of God. I want to share with you in a scripture that tells us about this 2 Timothy 3 16 and it says all scripture is God spoken and is used for teaching rebuking correcting and training in righteousness so the word of God is telling us here that he has written his word to find and to give us his will for our life so every single time you sit down and you read the word of God that's exactly what you're doing you're finding what God's will is for your life so it is crucial if you want to make wise decisions in your life to read the Word of God every day. Step number two is so simple that sometimes we take it for granted and it's to actually pray, to ask God to do His will in our life in whatever situation you're going through. When you ask God to do His will, He will intervene in your life and He will do His will. So it is as simple as that, my love. It's in a strategy that we sometimes fail to do and it's just to pray and ask God to do His will in our life. The third strategy is to follow peace. Any decision you have to make in your life, make sure you have peace in your heart. And what I like to compare it with is, and in my own life I have noticed it happens, is I compare it to a traffic light. When it's in red, it's God telling me, or if things are not happening, or, or I don't have peace in my heart, for me that's a red sign that I cannot continue moving, that I need to stop. If it's a yellow, it's a not yet, it's a wait, until the Lord tells me when it is okay to move on with whatever decision I'm making. And if it is a green for me, that is a go. And I have peace in my heart and I just go and do and make and, and create or do whatever God is calling me to do. Understanding that I have peace in my heart and that that is the will that he has for my life for that particular decision. So make sure you slow down and you find out what it is in your heart. And if you have peace, go for it. Strategy number four is to actually observe your surroundings. Make sure that you are observing what's going on in your life at that particular moment, especially with that decision that you have to make. If doors are opening, that means it's God's will for your life. Go after those doors. The Lord says in his word that the doors that he opens, no man can close. So make sure you follow and you continue walking. But if the doors are closing, if you're finding a lot of resistance on whatever it is you're trying to do, maybe it's not God's will for you yet, or it's not his will at all so what i recommend you is to let it go and wait for god's timing wait until things start happening on his own because god when he wants when it's his will for for your life you will always find out that the lord opens those doors and he will help you walk through that process so if you're finding a lot of resistance a lot of doors closed it is god god telling you not yet so just wait for the lord to give you that green light as we were talking in the previous point or those door to, doors to open, but observe your surroundings and make sure you make the best decision that you can make at that time. So I encourage you, my loves, to not complicate God's signals. He is very clear and he wants to, to reveal his will for you. So all you have to do is simplify it. And I give you the four strategies today to simplify finding God's will for your life. All you have to do is read his word because his will is right there for you. Pray and ask God for, you, for his will to be done in your life. And also just slow down, follow peace, and observe your surroundings. If doors are opening, walk through them. If they're not opening, wait for God to confirm if he wants you to quit altogether or if it's not his time yet. So simplify it and you will see how you're gonna be able to find God's will for your life. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and share it with other ladies so they can also find out what's God's will for their life. 
I also want to remind you that every Monday we have a podcast waiting for you on Wednesdays, a video like this, and on Fridays, the one minute video that will help you understand God's principles and apply them in your life. That being all my love, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Have a blessed day.